<laughs> gotcha. Yeah, let's play some more Cybernator. Uh, guys, I knew that he had actually not died. He, I, I got the last level right here that he sent me. Uh, and he, I, I recorded this second video like right after I did the fake out in the previous video, and I'm pretty sure he probably left me a mean comment saying, Brick Road, why didn't you read my email? This is what MC Banjo Mike sounds like. Okay, so here we are. We're fighting Beldark again. And it sucks, though, because it reset his score back to zero. Which, you know, that's not really fair. You come all this way, and just because you get killed, you gotta reset your score. And I think that was, what, the only... Was that the only the second time he died? Does he only get like one life per continue? I don't know. Uh, I kind of wonder what your score might look like after you if you play the entire game without dying. What the end game score would look like? That kind of interests me. Uh, not just in this game, but in a lot of games because there's so many games that count your score up. Yeah, you use a continue, your whole score goes back down to zero. You nobody really knows what the end game score might look like. So I don't know. Maybe we could. Oh no, you didn't get him. He ran out the door! Ugh. Oh, wow. Is this like the, the secret tunnel underneath Congress? That's kind of cool. That's... Like a secret escape hatch? Like, they got the little guys jumping in like Hoover carts and just getting blasted out of the air. And you know they bounce on the ground, they get a really bad road, road, uh, road rash. Good stuff. So, yeah. Loving this laser. Good stuff. Whoa. That was that was kind of impressive. The, it's like an overhead projector robot. This is the overhead projector boss. We're going to put the uh, transparent graph paper on it. And... Uh... Learn some geometry. Or, you know, we'll just blow it up with the laser gun. And he must be conserving his missiles for a bigger boss later to come, because I can't imagine you'd want to fight this guy. I mean, I guess the laser's doing alright. That, that's one question I, I guess I had, was do the various weapons, the laser and the missiles, do they do different amounts of damage? Like, the laser has sustained damage that you can just keep it focused. But each missile blast, how much damage does that do? And how, what's the ratio here? What does more damage per second? This guy is still not dead? I'm kind of sick of this Beldark creep. This is <laughs> now, keep in mind, you guys, that Mike's riding in a giant mech. And that mech is, pr is about five times the size of a human being. And about five of those mechs, give or take, fit inside of the, the battleship they're running in. And since this boss he's fighting now is a super mega giant mech that's about 20 times the size of that battleship. It's absolutely remarkable. <laughs> you know, there just has to be an upper limit on how big mechs can be before you're just... You, you've gone pe through the, the realm of they're cool and now they're just, you know, being... They're overcompensating for something, I think. He's got these little slow bullets that come out of his head, and then they chase him down. And he's got his own level 3 laser there. He stole that from Mother Brain. Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about right there. Ooh, ooh! Yeah, I just ate that laser a few times. Ooh, not good stuff. See, right here, too, it's, the, the missiles are going to home in from anywhere. You don't really have to aim them. So is there some advantage to using the laser over the missiles, or do the missiles just do uh, not enough damage compared to the sustained laser attack? Okay, do we have more game, or was that the last boss? And more importantly, do we get to see Kree in her... I guess that's her there. No, she's not wearing a bikini like I imagined. That was, uh, yeah, disappointing a little bit. That doesn't really look like fire. It looks like really superheated oatmeal. And yeah, I, I wouldn't want to get bogged down in that stuff, even if I wasn't a giant robot suit. 
Which, ooh, Mike isn't anymore. Oh, I guess that's, uh, that's Kriya again. All eight pixels. You guys aren't going to be able to kiss with those helmets on. It's ridiculous. So that was the last boss, I suppose. But yeah, there we go. And You know, the last Beldark is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. They're missing an apostrophe on the word enemies. It shouldn't... Yeah, that's grammatically incorrect. Which isn't, you know really rare for Super Nintendo games. So yeah, Cybernator. Alright, let's uh, see if I can review the game. Now, obviously, I haven't played the game myself. I, st I still haven't picked up a controller and actually looked into it. But, it does look like a lot of fun. It looks just... It looks like it's a game that's a lot more fun after you've played it a few times. After you really know the game well, know what weapons to level up and when, and what you're going to need for each boss. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, I, there's a lot of games that I like, and a lot that I will probably let's play in the future, uh, that they're good games, but they, they don't really shine until you've played them several times. I think going into this game blindly, it would be very confusing and probably overwhelming the kind of options you have with your weapons and what gets leveled up. Uh, the aiming system, I have no idea how it looks, I mean it looks remarkable, it really does. It looks like he somehow is playing a Super Nintendo game with an Xbox controller where he's got both thumbsticks available to him. Just that's how cool the aiming looks. And it, that looks like something that takes some getting used to, it looks like a game mechanic that you don't really see very often. So. Okay, so here's the credits roll, and it's scrolling very slowly. He actually said I should probably speed up for this, so let's, uh, alright, let's, uh, yeah, let's just speed up through that. Config, speed, what's my E? I've got a map, why do I have a map to E? There we go. This doesn't sound annoying at all. All right. Am I at 100 now, or am I? I don't know if I'm at regular speed or from a slower speed here. Okay, he said there's something at the end of the credits, I guess. Maybe not. Oh, the music stopped. Do we get to see something cool? Show us something cool, man. Okay, so, hey, there you go. High score. So I guess high score is the highest he reached before he died, and then score is the score he had when he finished killing the last boss. There you have it. 384,000 and change. Alright. So that's the end of Cybernator, I guess. Uh, so Mike wants to do, he says, a blooper reel. Um, he wants to show off some weapons he apparently didn't get during this playthrough. He wants to... There's some missions and things he didn't actually do during the game. Uh, or something. I wasn't really paying attention. But he's going to give us, I guess, the Cybernator a blooper reel. And the behind-the-scenes director's cut Platinum Edition unrated version of Let's Play Cybernator. So we got one more video coming. It's going to be, once again, played by MC Banjo Mike, narrated by me... Uh, Brick Road, and stay tuned. We got one more video coming. See you guys.